Oh, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. Today, we are going to be doing episode nine of I Build Your Teams, the series where you submit your teams to me via Twitter, and then I tell you what I would do to build those teams based on what gen you play on and how much MT you have. Um, before we hop into it, if you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're getting closer and closer to 1300 subscribers gained like 15 or 20 subscribers yesterday which i really appreciate all the support on the yesterday's two videos the bobo video and the justice winslow video did really really well and i really appreciate the support on those videos but again if you haven't hit that subscribe button it's free you can unsubscribe at any time if you decide you want to we're about 25 subscribers away from that mark so i'd love to hit that in the near future without further ado let's hop right into the series and let's check out some teams so the first team on the radar for me today that, I'm, that was submitted is this team from my boy anthony um he says he plays on either gen he's got 500 kmt and with this team um if you one thing that i would recommend is i think running a 10 man is much better than a 13 man if you're going to run this team I would probably just run it as a 10 man, not a 13 man. And if you can sell this MJ, if you can't sell MJ because you locked in for Phil Jackson, that's fine. But if you can definitely make sure you sell him. These last two aren't necessary either. So what I'm going to do is simply make upgrades to um, your 10 man rotation. With 500 KMT, the first place that I probably would look to upgrade is your small forward position at some point. Pick one of Zion Williamson or Kyle Kuzma, pick whoever you prefer. Um, I might even consider selling Zion just because he's a lot more expensive than Kyle Kuzma, but pick whichever card you prefer here, sell one, sell the other one, and play the other one as your backup spot for it, and go pick up Rudy Gay. Um, Rudy Gay is better than both these cards. He's an elite level card, really, really good, so that would help your small forward position. After you do that, um, I would consider playing David Robinson at your backup four um, instead of Chris Bosh and selling Chris Bosh to make him T. Uh, I think that would help your team a lot as well, but just because you're going to have a lot of MT once you do that. And I think at that point, if you were to sell Zion, sell Chris Bosh, pick up Rudy Gay, move David Robinson to the backup four, you'd probably be sitting on something closer to, I would estimate, I'm estimating here, but 800K, something along those lines. And at that point, this is going to be an upgrade that I'm not going to make to a lot of teams, but I would consider picking up Ben Simmons. Um, just because he is he's the best card in the game he's very very expensive but if you can get one for under 800k he's it's worth it he's that good this card is the best card in the game he won me my tournament series last night um exceptional exceptional card um and yeah that's pr probably what i would look to do personally is pick up ben simmons and rudy gay sell whoever you prefer or whoever you don't prefer of these two cards preferably zon just because you'll make a lot more and see and then sell chris bosh and move david robinson your back at four and i think you'll be sitting on a really really good team um like probably one of the best teams you could possibly make in all honesty the next team's coming from my guy 2k fitness super du dope dude in the community by the way yeah go follow him on twitter follow him on twitch um super super chill dude go show him some love but he is on next and he's pick picking on 300 he has a million mt but one thing that i know about fit because he's one of my guys is that he's not trying to spend any more money this year he's trying to be you know basically no money spent for the rest of the year so he kind of wants to save his mt so with that in mind there are a couple of things that i would do that would do to this team in the in the interest of saving mt um the first thing i would do if i was fit just because of the fact that he's trying to save MT for the rest of the year is I would pick up Jaron Jackson Jr. to play your backup center position and I would sell Wilts just because Jaron is free Wilts is 300k so you can save 300k right there by doing that and get a really solid card in Jaron Jackson who will do the job that Wilts can do I mean Wilts better obviously but Jaron Jackson will do just fine off the bench for you that's probably the first thing I would look to do then the next thing that I would look to do on this team is I would look to pick up a badged up Justice Winslow or pick up a Justice Winslow and badge him out um, to play the backup point guard position. I think his size and his defensive ability as well as him having a really nice jump shot, really good dribble six, all that stuff um, makes him a better option than Fat Lee Rich because of his how important size is becoming in this in this it's how important size is becoming at this point in the game. Um, so having a guy like Justice Winslow can play that backup point guard position for you and guard big point guards, guard your shooting guards, your small forwards. He's a really big, solid defender. Um, that's something that I think is super important at this point in the game. So I would look to do that as well. So I think those two upgrades make this team better and actually save you some MT. And then if you want to make another upgrade, save some more MT, sell T-Mac, pick yourself up a KD or a uh, DeMar DeRozan. Um, I really think there are ways that you can save MT even further by doing something like that would probably 
add another 200 300k to your bank um so i think if you make those few upgrades you're going to be sending a lot of mt and um a really really solid team still on the next team today we got my guy adrian i think he's been in a previous episode or two but he says this is his team he plays on playstation he's got 313k mt he wants to get rid of artists go more and make any necessary changes so um this team we got 313k we have 13 players we only need a 10 man so that's the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut some guys so we can cut it down to a 10 man last three players are bronzes your starting lineup is fine um we're gonna go back a backup lineup we're gonna go ron harper at the point guard sell derrick rose for the time being, Jerry Sloan, Danny Ferry, Wes Unsell, Artis Gilmore. So I'm going to imagine that's the team we're working with. Is your starting lineup with that bench of Ron Harper, Danny Ferry, Wes Unsell, Artis Gilmore, and uh, one of Jerry or Clyde, whoever you prefer the two. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start Danny Ferry at the at the three. I'm going to move Demar Derozan to the backup two, so you have Ron Harper and Demar Derozan as your guard, guards off the bench. Then I would. Um, Probably look to pick up a Bull Bull card. I think Bull Bull's really, really good. I think he's a great upgrade. I would definitely look to pick up Bull Bull to play the backup center position for you instead of Artis Gilmore. The next thing I would do is I would look to pick up a new backup small forward. Uh, because right now your backup small forward would be basically nobody like Clyde Drexler uh, or Obi Toppin. So I would definitely look to pick up a guy like Rudy Gay to play your backup small forward position. And I think if you do that, you're, you're going to be looking at a lot better team. You could still, quote unquote, tactically downgrade further, go sell Chris Bosch. Um, or you could do something like sell Chris Bosch, move Jaron Jackson to the four, pick up Wilt, things like that. But I don't really think those upgrades are necessary. I think at this point... The next position you might be wanting to look to upgrade potentially is actually your uh, point guard position as well. JR and Ron Harper aren't good, but looking to pick up a guy like a badge that Luka Doncic with Hall of Fame clamps or a Grant Hill would be a really good idea as well. But I think I'll leave that I, those ideas with you in terms of your flexibility. But I think that would leave you with a team, if I'm doing my calculations correctly, that would put you with uh, JR Smith, Kevin Durant, Danny Ferry, Chris Bosh, Jaron Jackson, and then Ron Harper, DeMar DeRozan, Rudy Gay, Bull Bull and oh no, West Unsell and Bull Bull. So that that ten man would be the ten man you have, and you pretty much don't have to spend that much MT at all. Um, and you can sell that Derrick Rose. So you're actually probably not losing much MT at all. Um, and you'll still and you'll have a much 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 better team. So in my opinion, that's what I would do with this team. Next team on the list today, we got my guy Zenon. I apologize if I butchered that name, but I appreciate you submitting your team, bro. Um, Plays on current gen. Everybody's badged out with Kobe Grinches mostly. Off range ankle breaker. I like it. Uh, he's about 150k MT. Tactically downgraded Grant to Penny, and I don't mind that decision at all. Um, Penny Hardaway is a really, really good point guard. He's the guy actually. Last team, y'all could you could have Penny Hardaway instead of Ron Harper or J.R. Smith as well for a cheaper price than Grant Hill or Luca. Um, but the first thing that I see with this team is that because you're on current gen, I think running Pete Maravich at the two is not a good idea at this point in the game. I would either run him at the one and sell one of your point cards or just not run him at all. And in all honesty, at this point in the game, I think I would prefer to run Penny and Justice Winslow than Pete Maravich in terms of just their size. I think it's very important. So with 150k MT, what I would be looking to do is probably pick up a DeMar DeRozan. I think DeMar DeRozan would be the best upgrade for this team. He's definitely picking up a DeMar DeRozan to play that backup two, or even start at the two and play JR as your backup two. Uh, I think if you make that upgrade, you're looking at a really, really solid team automatically. I think that pretty much is the only upgrade that you need to make. And from that point on, I would just play triple threat uh, online or offline. Try to save him tree. Try to take advantage of these um, these events that 2K is doing this, this weekend. <laughs> Hopping on to the next team, we got my guy Jordan McLaughlin Mur Burner. Nice, nice name. But um, he plays on currency. He's got 450k. Doesn't know who to add. Magic's fully badged with Hoff Showtime. Very, very nice. I like it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you to pick between Magic Johnson or J Chris Webber, whoever you prefer. Uh, keep them. Whoever you don't prefer, sell them. It's up to you, your decision. But whoever you do prefer, move them to your backup point guard and pick up one of either Penny Hardaway if you want to spend more MT or Justice Winslow badge if you want to spend less MT. I personally would go the Justice Winslow route just because you can get one badged out or badge him out yourself for a very cheap price. I'm sure for less than 50K, you could fully badge him out um, and get a really, really good top tier point guard. The next thing I'm going to look to do is I'm going to look to... Um, 
if you do that, you basically swapped Chris Webber for Justice Winslow and probably even made a little bit of MT. So we're going to say you're still at 450k MT if you do that. Um, at that point, I would go pick up DeMar DeRozan and Rudy Gay to replace Clyde Jackson and Obi Toppin. I think those two upgrades would be really, really big for your team. You can start Rudy Gay at the three, play Kawhi as your backup three. But you make those two upgrades, you're probably going to be sitting at something close to, I would estimate, 200k at that point. And then there's only one other upgrade that I think I would make with the amount of T that you have, and that would be picking up a Pink Diamond Bowl Bolt to play the backup four or the backup five, depending on who you prefer to play at the four or the five with him and Jaron Jackson, um, instead of Julius Randle. But I think if you make those four upgrades, picking one of these point guards and picking up Justice Wins a badge for the other one, then picking up DeMar, Rudy Gay, a Bull Bull, you're going to have a really, really good team, and you'll still have probably 150 k or so MT that you can save and work with for future weekends, and then again, play those events and make some more MT. Next team, um, we got my guy XQMM. He says he's willing to take any suggestions about 60K MT on current gen. And the thing that I like about this team is that you have a really, really solid base for your team. Like, there's no big holes in this team. You have picked up some really nice pieces from the auction house like Kevin Durant and Rudy Gay, and everybody else on this team is basically not auctionable. And I really like um, that with this team. What I would tell you to do personally, um, because I don't, is I would just save your MT right now. If you wanted to, you could go after a guy like Chris Webber or maybe Penny Hardaway if he's cheap. I don't know how pe cheap Penny Hardaway is, but if Penny Hardaway is in your, in your price range, I would pick him up over John Wall because he's definitely significantly better than John Wall. But make sure your Justice Winslow is badged out and then take advantage of those events. This is the type of team that when I match up against an Unlimited, I feel like just is remi it reminds me of a sweat team because it's not super expensive but it's really really good super solid uh, all around it can be used by a competitive level player at a very very high level still can go 12 and 0 easily he can compete even in competitive games with a team like this at a very very uh, effective level so um me personally that's probably what i would look to do is potentially pick up penny hardaway and then just take advantage of these events that they've done this weekend and trip with that online trip with that offline again i know i'm saying it a couple times now but make sure you take advantage of these events because you can make a ton of mt that really typically isn't very easy to make in this game um so i would definitely take advantage of those events this weekend to stack up some more MT for future content. Next team, we got my guy OG Slim. He says he's going to have JR this week. Giannis can't go anywhere. He's best card. All right. I will not sell Giannis. And then 20K MT plays on current gen. So your starting lineup is solid. Your bench is need, definitely needs some work. 28K. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, so you're going to pick up JR. I would sell Tyrese Halliburton. Um, put JR as your backup point guard or starting either one. And then pick up another, again, pick up a badge, Justice Winslow. You can do that. You'll still probably have, I would estimate 20 KMT after selling Tyrese, picking up the Justice Winslow. You'll have around 20 KMT or so would be my guess. The next thing that I would do with this team is I would, mm, I don't think we can fix everything with the amount of MT you have, but I would definitely look to pick up a guy like Eddie Curry to play instead of Pau Gasol. I think Eddie Curry's a lot better card than Pau Gasol, like significantly. So um, I don't know what I did there, but I would definitely look to upgrade that next and pick up Eddie Curry instead of Pau Gasol. And then if you wanted to, you could pick up a guy like Precious Chua or uh, Matt Bonner to play the backup power forward instead of Obi Toppin as well, because I think they are probably better options overall in terms of what they gave you but obi topping is free so maybe don't do that i don't know it's kind of tough with a team like this um to make huge upgrades with that much mt but i would definitely look to sell tyrese and pick up justice winslow as well as plugging jr in here and picking up an eddie curry for palgasol and then again take advantage of those of those this event this weekend make a lot of mt um next team second to last team we got my guy lucas he's about to have jr i can see oh he already has jr there we go he's got 400k uh with this team we're going to say, you have JR, I like your point guards. Plug him in for Clyde Drexler. He's a better card than to plug Clyde Drexler. You can play your backup power or backup shooting guard position. Um, then I think your point guards and your shooting guards are really good. Your small forward position is solid. Your power forward position is solid. Your center position is solid. With 400K, I'm not sure how I would be looking to upgrade this team right now if you have 400K. Um, I think, in all honesty, once you have JR, you hold on to your MT. I mean, you could look to pick up a, like a DeMar DeRozan, maybe, 
or even a Tracy McGrady, depending on how cheap he is, to play the backup three for you. But, like, I don't think there's any needs you really need to make. I, AK is still really, really solid. Your centers are great. Your power. There's not really anything that needs to be upgraded right now. So, once you get JR plugged in there for Clyde Jexter, I really think you just hold on to your MT right now. Um, yeah, I don't think there's a ton, of game, a ton of changes you need to make to this team. I like this team. Super solid all-around team. It's a good squad. Final team of the video, we got my guy Diehard Pistons fan. He's on next gen. He has 383k left. And looking at this team, I like the use of the new budget cards. I think that's really, really smart. Um, the first thing I do see with this team is I don't see Jaron Jackson. That Jaron Jackson card is free. He's amazing. He's better than some of these amethysts anyway he's better he's a very very solid card i what i would look to do immediately is pick up jaron jackson to play your starting center position move bull bull to your starting power forward pick one of precious that you are about matt bonner whoever you prefer play them as your backup power forward with eddie curry i think you're looking really good at that point and sell the other one the next thing i would do is i would sell chris weber make sure your justice Winslow is badged out put him at the point guard position so then you have uh, a starting lineup of grant hill kyle corver rudy gay bull bull jaron jackson and a bench of justice winslow isaac okoro a blank spot and then one of those two amethysts and then Eddie Curry. So, at that point, you will have something along the lines of probably, f I mean, 400 plus thousand MT. And then you could look to make a couple of upgrades if you wanted to. You could go after a guy like Paul George, um, Andre Kirilenko to play that backup three for you. One of those two guys would be really smart. You could then also look to go after a guy like DeMar DeRozan or Kevin Durant to play the backup two. I think if you made those two upgrades as well, or just play DeMar DeRozan, you're starting two. Kyle Corbett is your backup two, for example, or Kevin Durant, either one. KD or Demar, however looks better to you. I would just pick one and pick one of them up to play instead of a Cora because as good as a Cora card is, I would definitely choose to upgrade him with one of those two guys instead. So if you made those upgrades, I think you'd be looking at still having, I mean, over 100 KMT to save for the future, um, for future content and stuff. But then you'd have a team of Grant Hill, Demar Derozan, Rudy Gay, Bull Bull, Jaron Jackson, Justice Winslow, um, Kyle Korver. Paul George, for example, or, or Andre Carolinco, either one. Um, Precious Achua and Eddie Curry. I think if you built that team, you're looking at a much, much better team. Um, and a really, really, really good squad going into the future, being able to compete in Unlimited. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that is going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy, please make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of this video. If you would like me to build your team in, in a future episode, make sure you follow me on Twitter. The link is going to be in the description. And I do tweet out about the series every Friday night. Um, so, make sure you respond to the tweet Friday night or Saturday morning for a chance to be included in the video. Again, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment and hit that subscribe button. It's getting close to 1,300 subscribers. And I would really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button for me. Um, yeah, that's going to do it. I appreciate everybody watching, and I will be back with another 2K video very, very soon. Appreciate y'all. Peace.